two or three layers of paint on it already. It's a nice middle value. I like to aim for a medium value, middle value to work with to develop the pieces into a finished sailboat series piece that has that starts with middle value, but I can add my darks and I can add my whites on top of the middle value. I have my uh, little composition here that is what I will work on with this piece. So I evaluate what my composition has versus where my lights and darks are. In this piece, I have a dark corner. Darks would come in this area. And this band is a middle value, which I would like to leave. So one of these sides, I get to leave the color. I guess I will just leave it on this side. So with my most wonderful editing tool, my little chalk, I start planning things. Oh, this is about a quarter of the way. I often like to mark my centers of my pieces, keep track of center. Don't lose my way, it's my little map. So, there's about a quarter, a little more than a quarter, but not quite a third. It's probably the thrust of this important dark line on my composition. This dark can extend over here. This dark up. If this is this wide, I want to make sure that my division on this side is not that wide. I always want my proportions to vary. Bring that up. Partial box. Leave this side free. And I have this nice big swooping lines here. I have this one that gives the motion of uh, the feeling of the wind, motion, movement. But I can disregard those totally when I actually put in my sails. Because that's there and it will show through to the end no matter what I put on the painting. So I will just get my large shapes in here. That shows going to here. But I will connect a couple of sails so that I, I get a large white shape through 